Hello and welcome to 7 Days of Science. Coming up this week, a satellite made of wood, a mammal can bite, and a dinosaur in Canada. Starting off the very short news this week, the Japanese company Sumitomo Forestry has partnered with Kyoto University to develop a wooden satellite, which they hope could be operational by 2023. This surprising idea is actually an effort to reduce space junk, which is becoming a larger problem and is forecast to become a really major one in the future. It will be a world's first if it succeeds, but of course there are lots of challenges ahead, with the first testing efforts going towards how different types of wood fare in extreme environments. The woods that they will be testing, however, remain a secret. And now over to- Thanks, Doug. Also in the recent news is an interesting report of the first occurrence of the Hadrosaurid Myasauro in Canada. Coming from a locality in southern Alberta, this specimen has been confirmed as Myasauro and not the closely related Brachylophosaurus. And the fact that both taxa are now known to occur in similarly aged deposits in Alberta provides some evidence for cladogenesis, or the evolution of new species by splitting populations, taking place in this lineage. Plus, the more western distribution of Myasauro compared to Brachylophosaurus might indicate that a preference for respectively more inland or seaway adjacent habitats could have had a role to play in their divergence. And finally is a fascinating study that has looked at how the teeth of the late Jurassic aged mammal Priacodon would have fit together when the animal bit something. Interestingly, this animal bit more like a modern mammal than older prehistoric ones, with molar 1 on the upper jaw contacting between molars 1 and 2 on the lower jaw, making Priacodon very effective at powerfully cutting the flesh of the small vertebrates it likely preyed on. But not only that, distinctive cusps on its molars would have been very good at crushing insect carapaces too, and the fact that the cusps are practically the same size in all molars would have made the dentition very precise, allowing for the long-term success of the mammal lineage Priacodon belonged to. So some very interesting studies. Back to Doug in the studio. Thank you, Ben. Well, that's it for 7 Days of Science this week. I do hope you enjoyed, and as always, we'll see you next Wednesday. <laughs>